The INFJs are very complicated and intuitive individuals who primarily rely on the four basic cognitive functions, extroverted feeling, introverted intuition, extroverted sensing, along with introverted thinking. An INFJ is a person who has introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging character traits. This combination of characteristics allows INFJ individuals to have a great focus on the future and deep intuition about both people and situations. INFJs are very empathic and pitting individuals who combine both intuition and empathy along with logic to form what some may call extraordinarily accurate forecasts for the future and what can or cannot be. Some of the great unconscious functions of the INFJ individuals are that from time to time they might think or believe that they are not being themselves or they start to act in a way that's not even known to themselves only. These unconscious functions begin to show when an INFJ individual is put under extreme stress, under huge pressure, or when they have a massive negative reaction about something that they might believe threatens their identity or damages their ego. What are the abilities to allow a person with INFJ to break egos? How are they capable of doing so? What are their outcomes? Let's answer all these questions, starting with a rather important one. How can individuals with INFJ type be particularly dangerous? There are a couple of ways in which individuals with INFJ personality types can be extremely scary. So we have tried to include the top most dangerous traits according to psychologists in this list. Let's get right to exploring more about all of these special traits. The Psychological Exploiter Because individuals with the INFJ personality type are equipped with the cognitive abilities and skills to predict and foresee various things and scenarios, they can easily create highly strategic plans and enforce them with almost no difficulties. An individual with the INFJ personality type can easily walk away from situations and look at the bigger picture as they are gifted with the abilities that allow them to read people, their stress and their emotional states, which even allows them to get to know people's underlying motivations easily. If an INFJ individual has a particular motive, he or she can easily, with great effort, and discreetly make their plans a success. Since individuals with an INFJ personality type can read people in their minds so effortlessly and so well, they also tend to be very convincing. They can, without any difficulties, tap into other people's motives and their unfulfilled needs to tempt them to think, behave, or even act in a certain way that they like. This dangerous quality can be seen in a famous villain, Ras Al Ghul, who also has an INFJ personality type. He manipulates people into joining his cause, and he does it so effortlessly and effectively that people don't even know that they are being manipulated. They sometimes believe in the saying that the ends can justify the means. All individuals with INFJ personality types are introverted, intuitive, dominant kinds, and in most cases, they tend to grow long-range goals and certain dreams for the future. And due to their stubbornness, if they don't think straight, they can almost put everything on the line to achieve their set goals or their dreams. They can even take extreme steps and go to drastic measures to accomplish their goals, as they might believe that the final and overall benefit from those goals is much more than what they have lost and other short-term detriments. In most cases, this kind of thinking and mentality tends to be negative, as persons with INFJ personality types may completely stop thinking about what is morally correct or incorrect and only focus on accomplishing their set goals. INFJ individuals tend to repress their feelings and get off their moral compass while working towards a goal. Some might even lose their inner values and ethics themselves. They also consider their long-term goals as their priority, which most of the time makes them forget about their immediate physical needs like sleeping or eating well, making them physically exhausted or malnourished or even physically depleted overall as a result. Completely codependent People with INFJ personality type can sometimes tend to be psychologically unhealthy as they can get so obsessed with other people and their emotions that they start losing themselves in the process. A very unhealthy kind of codependency can appear when an INFJ individual grows very fond of other people, their emotions, and their feelings. Since individuals with INFJ personality types are naturally able to absorb other people's feelings and emotions, they sometimes also try to manage these emotions for others. They can get into a vicious loop of trying to please others and trying to take care of all the needs of other people. They even try to create a picture-perfect and cordial environment where everyone can get along just for the sake of their inner peace, which sometimes can get exhausting. The negative aspect of this habit of people with INFJ personality type is that they can lose touch with who and what they really are and even try to take apart other people's inherent motives. INFJ individuals 
tend to create or enter highly codependent relationships where they get the feeling to control absolutely everything and anything in it, and that too at all times. They believe that if anything is going wrong, it is their fault, even if it doesn't have anything to do with them. INFJ individuals absolutely cannot tolerate unhappiness around them and try to save others by making their problems their own. While empathy and being considerate can be positive traits, being controlling, having people placing behaviors, and obsessively showing martyrdom can be extremely harmful and for sure are negative traits. Such kind of obsessive, codependent behavior can lead to anxiety, resentment, exhaustion, and even bitterness. All individuals with INFJ personality types need to understand that no matter how much they try, they cannot control other people's life and or feelings and they most certainly are not the sole reason for anything that happens in other people's lives. They very often tend to be hidden risk takers. When people with the INFJ personality type get extremely stressed, the inferior sensing side tends to take control of them, and when this happens, they start behaving in a wicked manner, something that is not generally associated with their personality type. They can become short-sighted, reckless, and extremely impulsive, whereas in general, they place their long-term goals at the highest position and think very deeply before acting in any manner. This kind of extreme stress can be extremely dangerous and critical for both people with INFJ personality types and the people surrounding them. During these periods of stress and increased adrenaline, INFJ individuals become less and less considerate and empathetic and become least concerned about the long-term consequences of their current actions. Some INFJ individuals even take the unhealthy route during their periods of stress and begin doing unhealthy activities like binge eating, taking impulsive risks, spending a lot on unnecessary objects, and whatnot. They are the disengaged critics. In general, all INFJ individuals are warm, compassionate, and empathetic people who dislike any kind of conflict and who can go to huge extents to take care of all their loved ones. But INFJ individuals too, like all other people, have a limit. So while people with the INFJ personality type look warm, friendly, courteous, and emotional on the outside, on the inside they can be way more detached, logical, and emotionless. They can simply observe and develop insights and deductions from far away. When a person with an INFJ personality type gets stuck in a knee-tie loop, they can simply stop caring about others and their feelings. They all of a sudden become much more direct, concise, and aloof. In most cases, becoming a detached critic for an INFJ individual may not be the healthiest option as they can become too one-sided, lose touch with their crucial feelings, and easily destroy relationships that they have worked so hard for. INFJs stop feeling and being empathetic towards other people and start using only their logical and analytical side, which might not be the best option in all situations. All in all, individuals with INFJ personality types are great human beings, but like all others, they have their flaws and tendencies to lash out. And of course, it's not just those who have the INFJ personality type. All of us from time to time tend to be a little too dangerous for reasons both good or bad. But hey, that doesn't make us bad people, does it? All of us need to take care of people with different personality types in a specific manner, and therefore, it is necessary to learn about them. So with that said, are you aware of any other ways you could break egos? Let's know in the comments below. As always, like and share this video, and do subscribe to our channel for more updates on psychology.